DJ Bird, like, he tried it once. He tried it twice. And, man, he just, he ain't got the end. DJ Bird took me out there. We was drinking. Shout out to DJ Bird. Crazy Horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a beer called Crazy yeah. Horse. Red Horse on mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember oh, that. Oh, man. We got out there. He put them cables on me. I come back in there, man, like a boy. Who would it hit? Who, who, who? What? What? <laughs> And I, I went and I just let my energy go, man. White interior candy up for re-elect. Big solid ghost. Snowflakes with that honey gloss and tighter than the sheets. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Right. Man, Real so th- this this front, back, side to side, man, you know, uh, that, that's one right there for the record. Like, like you, how was it like even, you know, putting that song together? White interior candy up for re-elect. Snowflakes with that honey gloss and tighter than the sheets. I gotta get, I gotta thank God for DJ Bird. That's okay, shout out, yeah, shout, shout, shout out DJ Bird. Shout out DJ Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Smitty, I'm, I'm sorry y'all couldn't make it, bro. But we're gonna keep moving. Um, I didn't know what Penn was doing to me at the time. He was tricking me in the training. Like, yeah. he, like, I don't know how he did it. He never liked anything I did. Oh, that's Bobo. <laughs> That's what the same thing Boosie said. Say Boosie. everything yeah, you got yeah, wasn't yeah. good enough. Everything. Nah, that, man, that ain't jamming. You know, he just had that way about it. But the kind of love he showed me, though, you know what I mean? And as I watched things grow, because you got to understand, before any of the stuff materialized and grew, I was there. It's like stuff I forgot. And so we were in New Orleans. Ira Buris was his name, I believe. I don't know what to think. Gumbo Funk Studio. We were at okay. some studio situation. I think I've heard that name before. Yeah, and they, they're like, yeah, all the executives, like I said on other interviews, they had the tags in there playing games, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, for, for, for one reason or another, they had me in a corner situation, and they was like talking to me. Yeah, you know, talking like they was trying to make a deal with Pimp. He snapped out. Y'all get away from blah, 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 blah. You know, he really went off. The bird, oh, Smoke, we gonna do it. Pill wants you to come here and do a verse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A verse? <laughs> I went in there, and I was like, you know, like like Pippi Long's talking. Uh, uh, tight white interior. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So... DJ Bird, like, he tried it once, he tried it twice, and man, he just, he ain't got the end of DJ Bird took me out there, we was drinking. Shout out to DJ Bird, Crazy Horse. Yeah, yeah, had yeah. a beer called Crazy yeah. Horse, the Red Horse on mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember oh, that. Oh, man. We got out there, he put them cables on me, I come back in there, man, like a boy, what it hit? Who, who, who? What it, what? <laughs> and I, I went and I just let my energy go, man. White, white interior candy, apple red, leg. Solid ghost snowflakes with that honey gloss and tighter than the sheets. And then it turned into a hit for them, for us. It was. Right? It, 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 it was the great. Yeah, and, and I owe all of that to DJ Bird, man, because he is really like the glue. He still is and was like the glue to everybody. Every situation, he just brought happiness and love to it. You know wow. what I'm saying? I'm going to trip you out. That's I, crazy. I was working as an A&R for Atlantic Records, mm-hmm. right? And Pimp had just came home. T.I. was working on the album. And uh, Mike Karen was like, man, what can we do for T.I. knowing UGK together like this? I said, let's get them to redo a UGK song. I got a 66 bottle so free. White top, bird drop, with the book on deck, new results. Right? Wow. Right? Check us wow. out. Check us out. I was, man, bro, I was talking about Stroking some work, you know what I mean? I mm-hmm. said, man, so the guy with Pimp, they got Manny Fresh to redo front, back, side, and side. Got both of them on the song, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, that's crazy. Wow, you, so you was there when they redid no, it? Like, yeah. in real time, like right now, I just gotta shake your hand. Hey. Because they got me a chick. I already know. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you. Once I realized what I could be utilized for, right. I, I I was able to do that at Atlantic Records. Well, no, for no, so I, I know better. I, not I, a little I know what everybody got paid, Smoke. Okay. Right? I know what the budget was, Smoke. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, he didn't know a lot of people. I introduced him to Gucci. I'm, I was able to make moves for my people to get check stroke to him. You know what I'm saying? saying? That's what it's yeah, about, bro. Right. That's what it's about now. And like, I'm just listening in this interview. The key point and the key thing that I call because I'm more an observer than the talent being it. 
Communication. Mm-hmm. For sure. Communication. If we can learn how to do that properly, then we can express ourselves in a more direct way. And you know what I mean? More than just text message or the fast super information, you know, put the phone down sometimes. That's the top. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Trill talk, what 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 you know about Fiend, man? Let, let, let's go man, on. Know. You, Get started out, you started out with Big Boy, right? Big Boy, right? I started out actually with um I started actually with um a brother of my name Musa. He didn't yet have a label for his I mean a name for his label. Um, but Big Boy was my first independent success. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, it was. Yeah. Right. Wow. Well, well, go ahead. And then, like, like from there, like, you kind of, you transferred, like, you went to, I think it was No Limit after that. Like, it was, this one in front of was it, what, year 2000? It, no, no, no. It was, no, uh, no, no, May 5th, 1998. 98, yeah. Right. Yeah, and um, when you came up with that, like, it, it was a change. Like, I seen, like, uh, Really, kind of you and Mystical, kind of like y'all, kind of bleed it together like a little bit, like on songs together, like now, like the Snoop. Yeah, Wolf that's and that's like that. crazy. Um, when I got the Big Boy records, Mystical pulled yeah, me in the up. back of the uh, uh, Chuck, the owner of um, Big Boy Records. Rick, yeah. He pulled me in the back of his house, and he realized I was a new guy at Big Boy Records. Mm-hmm. He enjoyed the baddest motherfucker last single. <laughs> And I remember, I'll never forget this. He had the nylon uh, undershirts they get from Soul Train, you hear me? Yeah, he had some khakis on. He was like, he rolled a little joint. He like, man, man, you gonna run this thing, dog. You hear me? I'm telling you, dog, you crazy. I heard you single, man, man, you about to run this thing. And I was like, just met him my first time meeting him, yeah. right? I like, huh, bro? And um, so we ran it, and that was that. The Big Boy Records, um, I, I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't get it off like I wanted to. Um, Sice gave me the production that he can give me um, at the time, but um, I know we could have went more in depth. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, that's yeah, why man. I asked about the mystical thing because I know he was over there too. And so yeah, like, yeah. I was like, how did that, you know, like from y'all transferring over mm-hmm. there and then y'all like rejoining back when y'all got to Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was helping, believe it or not, I was... I was like bringing tracks in, instrumentals in, and uh, I like this, and Sice might like it. And every once in a while, don't get me wrong, he did his yeah. own thing. But certain things I, I was discovering, like, you know, I had A&R potential then picking out tracks. I did writing where whoever may need it, writing for at yeah. the time. However to play my part, not 100% of the bodies, but just, you yeah. know, increments of stuff, right? I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk.